Good morning, everybody. Jen Cravasi here from Jekyll Bates here on a Sunday morning. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. If, uh, if you're a mom or a daughter, I hope that somebody's pouring you a fresh hot cup of coffee. And if you are a mom today, moms, take the day off. Please go fishing. Go get out on the water. Go for a hike. Go take some beautiful photographs. Get out of your house and away from your family for a little bit and just have some mom time. And uh, this one goes out to my mom, who's encouraged me through every single thing that I've ever done in life. She's always been there for me. So, Mom, happy Mother's Day. I love you very much. From me, Jenny. So, this is going to be a short but sweet, I hope. I always say that, and then, um, then I always break that promise, because I like to kind of get into what I'm doing. This is a 1.5 square bill. It's got the, uh, the black crawfish eyes, and again, apologies, I always have paint on my hands because it seems like I'm always throwing paint. Got some really cool browns. It's got a bright orange belly on it. Uh, very well-defined segments on this, and if you notice, if the camera can pick that up for you guys, there is quite a bit of copper flash pearlescent paint that's kind of just been misted and folded into these layers. And that really is gonna that's gonna make a difference coming through the water, I think. So I I don't think that I properly give credit to the folks that I I have mentored under. <clears throat> Some of them don't even realize that I've paid attention, but one particular guy here, Michael Ornstein, is a master at being able to overlay patterns on, on mesh. And this is the technique that uh, that I have really carefully watched over a period of time and this is a, obviously the Sunfish series but this is on a 2.5 square bill just a super cool bait so Michael Ornstein thank you very much for the years of mentorship I would not be the artist I am had I not paid attention to all your videos and if you get a chance guys and you're looking at my videos and you don't know who Michael is that I'm talking about go check out Lure Me In Crankbaits Go check those out. Um, he's on YouTube. He's got a lot of tutorials. Um, very, very accomplished airbrush artist. This is my own freestyle crappie pattern. This is a spawning crappie. It's got that real pale orange male, uh, the male breast. And it's got that little, that the little purple plum pop on it, fading up into a moss green. Also with lots of pearlescence on it in a wake bait. These things are super cool, and I can't seem to keep them in stock. Also, along the weight bake lines, <laughs> Freudian slip. Um, along the wake bait lines, we have the just a regular old champagne IU, but simple and effective. A lot of the times, that really works. And the glitter on here, the, I think this is just Walmart glitter. It comes in little tubes, and you can get them for about three bucks for a pack of eight, nine, I think, ten maybe in different colors and this is just the the silver glitter real thin it's, it's too thick to shoot through a, an airbrush but it's perfect for laying it on when you're clear coating this is an owl wife in an x-wrap style cool thing about these is that um, it's got an, an inside holographic it's not been foiled but it's got a little bit of a a shine as it comes through the water you can see that it tilts and you can pick up that flash just a little bit of um, black light it's been thinned down black blue and uh, wicked uh, wicked colors I think it's a detail blue green these eyes on here are pretty cool there's a few I, I use a lot of different eyes some of my favorites come from Jettison um, some of my other favorites you can get off of Amazon these are brule eyes, and the cool thing about these is generally on the eyes, the pupils are really, really big, which is really going to key those game fish in, and you can see that it's just a, just a good-looking eye. So brule, B-R-U-L-E, if you guys are looking for some different eyes out there and you want to get away from the living eyes or the stuff that you can get off Tackle Warehouse, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This is just a, again, I'm doing plain, simple, effective. Uh, I've got a few that are a little bit more complex patterns this morning that we're showing you, but this is just a little shad pattern. It's a citrus shad. And on these Dinger custom wiggle warts, Dinger, ding this. Um, on these guys, 
the, the eye sockets or you have to paint them. You can't put eyes on these wiggle warts. And that's the same with all wiggle warts. Wherever you get your molds, I recommend a good quality blank and a good quality mold. Dinger definitely has that. Cedar Run, I believe, has a pretty good one as well. This is the Sassy Gill. It's going out to Bob tomorrow. And uh, we have the family of Sassy Gills. He already has a collection of them going. These are on a man's baby one minus. These are not knockoffs. These are the actual man's blank that were purchased for the purpose of custom repaints. And I do all that stuff. You guys can check out www.jekyllbaits.com and look at the repaints and pricing. Another wake bait. And a pumpkin seed. You can see a little bit of glitter on there as well. And one of the other series of sunfish in the 2.5. I tell you, that's just cool, isn't it? Anyways, happy Mother's Day. I've taken up enough of your time. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Get out of the house. Go outside. The graphics are incredible. We'll see you later. Happy casting.